All right, so I'm gonna repair this G.I. Joe O-ring. It's got a broken O-ring. So his hips came off. Um, sometimes this hook can break, but you want like a full hook like this in order for it to work. I have this set of, it's like a basic set of precision screwdrivers. <clears throat> you can get it at any Home Depot or whatever. I like these ones with the spindly end so you can put more pressure in when you're unscrewing it. Get them in there. And you want to put like a lot of pressure forward. Sometimes these things can get rusty and you don't want to strip the screw. This one is dug in pretty good. I'm gonna try something different. Hold on just a sec. Bam, that looks like a charm. <clears throat> yeah, so if it's getting you trouble, I guess this works. It's the first time I've tried it, but it worked pretty good. The screw comes out. The torso comes apart. You see the old O ring. This one's all dried and cracked. <clears throat> so now what you do, take your legs. I'm going to hook this O ring into the hook like this. to guide it through. <clears throat> I call it the crotch. I don't know what other term to call it, but it's the crotch piece. Just kind of carefully pull it in so it's like this. I'm going to take the back, back piece, kind of pull it. <clears throat> and now there's going to be a lot of tension here, so you're going to kind of have to hold it, hold it in place. What I like to do, sort of put it, put it at the edge like this. Take the arms and kind of slot them into where they go in a way that you can just sort of rest them, rest them like this and they'll just kind of be sitting there. And then you take your front torso piece Kind of glide it in. It's like this. <clears throat> and you're gonna want to like keep this pinched. Put 
put the screw back in. I usually unturn it a little bit just to make sure the threading's correct. And kind of thread it back in. Don't go too hard in case you ever have to take it out again. Now you got a, a brand new fully standing Joe.